hi everyone and to all of them. So like now you put your Google credentials, we will be able to start making our system rag with Telegram. So what we're going to do is we're going take care of Kudrin that is. I'm going to put files in data live. My work where I go, segment my files, I'll put here are the opening hours and prices. Customer information, let's say. And the goal is, will be after I question my AI to get this information there and then. We cover much more. Thus, a simple system of rails is quite easily implemented. So, for that on, go use it first. Our clean rent configuration generator. And there we will create a base of data then. You can name the database whatever you want. We'll have to keep that name there. There you are in indexing, you go. Yes, coachman. It allows after searching much more. Generate configurations quickly. And you're going to copy this config file. You will proceed to your Cudrant interface where you'll be prompted. Your API key, so this is the key you set. In your Enver point, we connect and there. Let's proceed in the console interface. Here, we remove everything and stick it, then perform a thorough check. V, and we stick the, 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 the configuration we retrieved with the generator, then you do entry control and here, yeah. it's gonna put you down. Result, all okay. The time it took him to create the base. What if I go? In collection, I see that I have finally created my base, my first vector base, which is entitled leave my work. And once it's completed, we're just gonna go into our workflow and there, let's get started to additionally include a trigger, thus activating it from Google Drive, which will say that every time a, the file is eventually updated in the data document within the data folder, if my work is completed, and it should trigger accordingly. Google Drive trigger activation. Take, so this one there, we connect to our be present every single minute. Whenever there is one, change in the file specified. The folder specifying on. Go get him, his name is Data. Live my work. And there, to each, once a file. As soon as it is updated, this is our first connector. The next step involves downloading the file. So here we are going to type once and let us proceed. First recover and then to recover the famous file, so we are going to put ourselves here. We are going to choose by the ID there. I am going to execute. The previous note, for him to retrieve the information from me, I go all the way down. And I, be careful, I'm going a little higher. You can see here, I have the ID available that I'm going. I will copy it from here and paste it there to obtain the ID of my file. That's all. Here, on this platform, go do it. A CUD run vector store where I will definitely say a document to vector store and we will develop the required credentials there of CUD run. So here, please remember, you put your happy key and dance. The URL we go everything. Just type HTTP. It's basically the address specific to your locality of your server because your tube run is hosted on the same N instance. UIT implementation ensures that if I proceed, savings will occur. It establishes an impeccable connection and there's generally success. Presently, he possesses it. I found my base, Mish Data, my work. Therefore, that's the conclusion. Great then. There and there, we will likely need to configure several minor details. So, and then, we're going to appeal. Environment Olama, therefore Olama. Who is currently installed to handle this? On our server as well. We're going to click. Will it be here or elsewhere? Now, go to embedding. Olama in the credentials, we will create. Words? Credentials undoubtedly confirm that fact. What we do is you remove the local bone and you mark it with your hands. Hop, full connection success. Can we reach an agreement on this? He's recovered. So you connect to your Olama server and proceed. Regarding the models, here is what we observe. Don't have any data. Why? Because it will have to be downloaded. Our renowned models are designed for that purpose. 
and do not panic, we will be utilizing the toolbox. Now, concerning the renowned box. Tools. So here we are in the toolbox. We have an Olama command generator for me. What interests me, it will be to download. In this case, Nomic. So I click on it, I do. Generate the command. EV, create the famous command to inject, so I'm going there. Copy. Here, I establish a connection to my server and navigate to my directory. I locate the installation folder and stick to it thoroughly. The command line. So here he is downloading the package. Regarding Nomic, as we can observe, let's hop on. We wait for a little bit, so Nomic is robust. A little lighter. Thus, this signifies success. There, if I... Please return to the top of my page, right over here. I click into the void, I do. That I kindly click on this link. And there in model, we have our Nomics, so that... It's perfect. We have a Nomic. Who's going? Basically, it will use the model to inject the data into our database. Vector. Thus, it is quite remarkable, as there is no necessity to employ open acknowledgement as everything remains localized. So then, what we're going to do? Here we are going to create a significant data defect and subsequently have numerous tasks. Little things too. Complete our tasks thoroughly. In the type, we will put binary because it is a binary that we download. Is this the correct place? Our next step is to execute the following plan. We need to incorporate additional elements. Metadata. Enhance the metadata accordingly. It's going to be very simple. These are properties that we add to the documents for to be able to search for it much more. It's straightforward to elucidate. We are genuinely preparing to generate metadata. Who's going to be called ID doc? You'll see who gets the ID. I and what will then allow us to identify it to delete the data that is not actually up to date. But don't worry about that. Are you okay? To be one. To be a bit more transparent, I will incorporate the attributes as I proceed. Say okay. I would appreciate if you could include the date. It might be intriguing. Therefore, to incorporate a date on number 8, simply open the collections and apply $1 now. Observe and determine his location. Retrieve the date. Subsequently, we'll proceed with the plan. I am planning to incorporate an attribute. Where there, I will put the name who injected the document and there I will mark. A glove, here I am ready to go. A property, what am I going to call ID? Document identification. Where is it going to be? The LI. D that we have information recovered from our systems. The first document from Google, we will create one. Execute the document previous note. So he's going to look for it, that's it. We have our data and we what will interest us is to go. Yeah, right. You go in, Google Drive, trigger. You need to move all the way down the path. And there. Are you going to go a little higher? To retrieve the ID that's here and that you're going to drag there. All right, got it. Are we all set? Now, took a default data. Downwards, and then right here. We'll definitely get it done. A recursive character to extinguish in there. Shall we consider putting in a thousand instead? And 200, so this is really, in fact, it will divide the file into several parties to increment our vector base. Leave these values there by default. We're not going to delve deep into technical specifics, hence it will function excellently. That's completed. Now, what holds our interest? So essentially here, if I proceed, tack, 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 tack. Tack, he will inject our, our document, but he won't actually make the revision, will he? I suppose, yes. We edit our document and make changes. He's not going to do it. So in fact, simply because we have, we have to add it. So a connector for that, unfortunately. If I do this and there I type, Q run. We don't have a pre-existing mode where it's designated. Delete, it goes. We have to create it ourselves, so don't panic. For that, we're going to do one chitter request a petition to us to our QRunt server in bulk 
and there it will be a post method, so on. Go, post we go, we're going to tell him, okay? On, connects, we connect. On what then? That's where it's going to be important. Be careful, in the URL we will put it back. Our URL. Gudrun, we're going to tell him, are you going to the collections? You, please access my database, and there you need to enter the name of your specific database. You have, eliminate this thus. I want to remove the point. Subsequently, we shall deliver parameters, and now we shall proceed with this. Put white and true. Like that, he'll wait. Allow it to become true, so that we can proceed to the next step over here. In the send header so obviously you know for those who know a little about how happy on works go get our key happy if we don't have the happy key it simply won't function so what we do is we make happy shoot ease just here in the value where are you going to put your happy key so i do it i'll handle it later and ensure it's put on properly afterward then we're going to do a send body. There is still a script to use. We'll put JSON, we'll use it. So here's one. With the JSON script, we'll align ourselves with the expression like this. Go see what? It looks like my famous script. And the script, it's really straightforward. He's here, so basically I tell him, you're going to get it. In the keys provided, the metadata, a tag that I created specifically for you, called idoc and the corresponding value is match with ed so there i get the id of ours google drive initiates the trigger so if it has the same id so you're going delete in fact that's how it works in the json format this is where i click no it's absolutely great and here's what i'm planning to do just as i mentioned earlier i'm going to complete my happy key So once my happy key is filled in, I repeatedly click here and there. Now, go save there. We made one. System of self incrementation in our Qdent base, therefore. We'll test. That's all. Next, I will explain myself in detail. We are on data lift, my work. I created a time file where there I put Monday 830, 1730. Perfect. We will execute the hop hop workflow. Let's hop over there. So he injected the famous file successfully and that's it. We see that we have zero. What if I update? We currently have a point which is quite good as it is reflected in the news. Tuck, he filled it all out. We are performing well and this is evident from the fact that he is doing fine in the content. Monday from 0830 to 1730, it looks fine. So what we are going to do now is I am going to correct the schedules and change it to 5 p.m. 5 cell p.m. then? It saves in Google Drive and there you will see that he will delete all data and uh, we proceed with the decoration. Reminder. A tac 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 test. He removed Ocon. Go see if it worked. I go back to my connection that updating I see that I always have a point so it seems to be more my sign. You click on it and you see what happens. And he didn't keep the old data, he genuinely made modifications demonstrating how to create a RAG system. Finally, we start a system of rules to embellish our base. Vector after that. We might have completed it on a different one. Drive or, or go there. Searching in a form, finally, is to... You from from? Adapt it properly, huh? This is how you initiate self-improvement for do run. Here's how we observed. Use QRunt locally with an exceptional connector, which is the delayed personalized service and feature. Within the Deco Data Loader system, we developed comprehensive metadata with variables, which allow us to delete it and enhance our database. And we used Nomic in local with our hand roll. So now we will be able to really follow the rule. There we really did our decoration for our files. Therefore, I am departing and taking my leave. See you in an upcoming video.